Hey everybody, welcome to Real Men Craft 2. I'm Richard. So, have you guys ever gotten one of these? Or all of these crazy things? And you think, now what? I'm going to show you what to do with them right after the intro. <laughs> So first off, I want to tell you all, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day. Thanks for stopping by and watching the video and welcome to Real Men Craft 2. I'm Richard. Now you guys, uh, I want to do some shout outs before I start today's video review. Now it's not really a video review, it's a how to on how to prep, store, and organize your drills slash stones slash diamonds for a diamond painting. Now. I want to shout out some new subscribers. And speaking of subscribers, I can't give you guys a shout out if you don't make your subscriptions and your channel public on the YouTube um, app. So you just go up to settings and set uh, my settings, subscriptions, slash, whatever, whatever. It's going to depend on whether you're watching it on a PC, a tablet, or a phone. But just make sure that it's set to public. So these first five people have been with me since the beginning. Uh, not the beginning of my crafting career because I've been crafting for over 50 years. Yes, five zero. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So these first five people have been with me since day one. When I started the, my first original channel, which was a horror book review, almost three years ago. It'll be three years April. Uh, but I will leave a link to my horror book review channel down below. It's called Nightmares Tears, anyone. If you like horror or if you just like really good sad books, pop in, subscribe, and enjoy. So, like I said, the first five. Here's Larry Yance. Thank you, Larry, so much for following me. Uh, Andrew Caston, Bruce Lee, my partner of 20 years. Adri Zumbi, also known as Adriana, my Queens girl who lives in New York. Ellen Lewis, who has been with me for almost 30 years. Yeah, she's been one of my students for almost 30 years. Chris Simmons, Tammy Ownby, Marla Morris, Nancy Huffman, Tomas Rivera, Stefan and Andy Stevens, and Bobby Clark. So you guys, thanks so much for taking time out of your day. Thanks for subscribing to the channel. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna flip the camera around and down upon a big giant uh, black surface, which is also our pool table. But you can't tell it's a, a pool table because, well, you'll see. So, I'm gonna pause you guys for a second. Don't leave, I'm coming right back. Okay, so uh, what you guys are looking at is a canvas. Now, you guys heard me talk about horror. This is my trick or treat canvas. And if you can see right up here, it is a 50 by 70 millimeter, not millimeter, I take that back, centimeter painting. Now I'm gonna get into why I order my paintings in that size. Now if you guys can tell right here, there are a bunch of numbers. <laughs> yeah, you guys, I got tongue tied. Numbers, symbols, and sometimes letters. But I'm gonna show you guys what this picture is. So this little creature right there, his name is Sam. And if you haven't seen Trick or Treat, it's Trick R Treat. Look it up, it's a great horror book. It's a great horror movie actually. Very fun, it came out within the last 10 years. So, I'm gonna show you guys what to do with all of these. Okay, so these little containers here are little bead organizers. You can get them from any of your local craft stores. Uh, 
I like to get mine either at, uh, well, I don't, I haven't been into Joanne's uh, crafts in years, seriously, for years. Uh, but after beating for 50 years and designing jewelry, I don't think I really need to buy any more of these because I have like eight in my closet that I'm not even using at the time. So, these are called drills, otherwise known as uh, diamonds, jewels, stones, depending on where you get them. Now, back to these little symbols here. So, this is where it gets fun and actually interesting. So I'm just gonna count these. Normally you don't even have to because it says right here there's 24 colors. So I've got 24 colors, this holds 30. I should be completely fine. Now, just like I say in any of my videos, I am not a pro at this. I am not the first one to do this. This is just how I do it. Uh, I don't like wasting time with my arts and crafts and my jewelry making, so I tend to do things very fast efficient and very thorough it's just who i am so let's get into how we organize these so first things first i can go down this this what this is called a table i can either label these with a number one or the number of the dmc floss number now some people label all three symbols on their uh, tags. I don't. I, I label the number and the um, symbol. I will show you up close. So yeah, I do the number and the symbol. Now, this is going to be probably the first of probably three videos, maybe even four, just depending on uh, how many I want to do on prepping your diamond painting. Now, here we go. So I use these. Yeah, uh, you can get them at any store. You can get them at uh, any craft store, any, I buy mine at Target just because I'm at Target all the time. You can also order them online. Now, if you notice, it says there's 315 per uh, little snap container. So we're gonna open these. I've already used these, of course I have. So we're gonna start labeling. So I'm gonna move this tray out of the way. Oh, my kitty just came over to see what we were doing. So this is my light box. Uh, that'll be coming up in the next video. Um, so we're gonna start doing, you know, we're gonna start labeling these. So I'm gonna go ahead and label these. It goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I'm counting just kind of, just because sometimes they'll skip a number here, but these are. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Now you guys just remember, a lot of you are gonna say, Richard, we know how to count. <laughs> yeah, we do, we know how to count. But you can always speed up this video or slow it down right down there somewhere. Yeah, if you move your cursor in the lower right-hand corner of your uh, video, you can go to the setting symbol and hit the playback speed. Oh, that's my coffee maker. Sorry, let's let that stop beeping. So we're gonna start. So number one, it's an R. Number two is a K. I'm gonna show you uh, how I organize this to not drive me crazy. Number four is a capital H. You wanna do the letter just like it shows on the table because this is how they're gonna appear on your canvas. Five is a U, six is an L. Set, 
No, six is a Y, so I don't know how I messed that up. Well, at least I messed up on camera. So six, I'm just gonna redo. Yeah, so six is, see, and that's why it's always good to double check your table with your, so six is a Y. There. Seven is the L. Eight is the T, nine is a G. And like I said, yeah, it's like, you know, why do you go through all this? You only have to do this once. And then once you do it, you're so organized that you're like, God, why didn't I do this before? So that was 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. So back to 13. 13 is a V. I could do this like a, a kindergarten teacher. A is for apple, but I won't. Sorry, you guys, that just hit me. It's funny. 15 is D. 16 is a W for my last name, which is Wilson. 17 is a C. 18's an E, 19's an N for Nancy, my sister's name, 20 for P, which is another sister's name, <laughs> Pam, 21 is J, I like to put the cross just because, 22 is Z, X is 23, and then 24 is I. Now, what do we do with these things, you say? So, uh, you're like, uh, what, do, what do I do with these, Richard? Here's what you do with them. So, you're gonna take your, you're gonna take your labels. Of course, we're gonna do them in order. So I'm just gonna boringly stick these on. You wanna get them centered, because if you don't, they, they do p tend to uh, peel off. Three, four, five. I'm gonna pause the camera real quick so you don't have to watch me boringly put these on. So this is how I do this. So you're gonna go through and take your drills or whatever. I just took them out of my uh, envelope. You can pour them out all on your table at once. You don't have to. I've already filled a couple of them. You're gonna notice that when you seal, when you close the lid on these things, uh, you're gonna notice, wow, I still have more left. What do I do now? This is just how I do it. Now, uh, you're gonna notice that Sometimes you'll get drills or stones in these little tiny bags like this, or like this. Now, you can tell that three of these, and this is the same color, three of these almost matches what's in this one bag. So just use your judgment. You're not always gonna now pour all of these at once. If I'm using these type of drills, normally three will fill up one of these perfectly. So, that is the difference in, you know, whether you get drills this way or whether you get them in these little Ziploc style bags. Now, I normally don't like to get my drills in these kind of bags because this bag opens and then you have drills all over the place. And sometimes you'll have drills that are so close in color, especially grays and blacks and even blues and greens, those of you that do, uh, cross stitch know that the colors will blend from left to right and they'll go from light to dark so you've really got to be careful about making sure you close these completely shut now a lot of people have asked me Richard where did diamond painting start from diamond painting originated in China uh, and it, it, it's been around a long time it didn't hit America until the early 2000s and those of you that grew up in the 70s and 80s, like I did, uh, we did a thing called sand painting where we took these colored 
bags of sand, and we poured them in really nice apothecary jars, and then we stuck toothpicks or long Q, not Q-tips, uh, chopsticks down the side, and we made these beautiful paintings, you know, scapes. It took a while to learn, but that's where, you know, sand, but that's what sand painting was. Diamond painting originates between a cross of sand painting and cross stitch. The funny thing about cross stitch, these numbers that you're gonna see here are the DMC numbers, these numbers that are here on the side. These are the actual DMC numbers of the number of the color of floss. So yes, you could take this canvas and easily turn it into a cross stitch pattern. You would scan this at your local copy store, have them condense it or keep it large, and you can do it as a cross stitch. That's cool. Now, back to what I was talking about. When you fill these, you're only gonna fill the little container until it's so full, and then you're gonna put it back in its container. Now you're gonna see, Richard, why did you skip the numbers? I'm just taking these out of order, just as they come out of the bag. So we're at number 11. Now, about drill, uh, about drills and stones and jewels. A lot of people ask me, Richard, what do I do with the drills after I'm done with my painting? You guys, that's gonna come up in a, another video, but I throw mine away and I'll explain to you why in that video. Otherwise, you're gonna be a hoarder. You're gonna have drills all over your house. You're gonna have them in every cabinet, every cupboard, every drawer. I am not a hoarder. <laughs> so there's 11. So I'm gonna do this all the way down until I've got all of 24 of my colors in here. So that is how I store mine. I have a lid, these all come with lids. I don't label them, as you can see, you know, on here. Some people, you can put the, the title of your painting. I do these so quick and fast. I just leave them here on my work surface next to my light box. And uh, I don't, because I, re, I, I reuse the same trays over and over and over. Like I said, I throw my drills away. So you guys, thank you so much. Uh, St. Patrick's Day is on Wednesday. Happy St. Patrick's Day, those of you that like to partake in the celebrations, go out and have a great dark green beer. And uh, thanks for taking the time out of your day. Thanks for stopping by Real Men Craft 2. I'm Richard, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for stopping by you guys. Next one is going to be tools you must have to make your diamond painting easier. Come back you guys, see ya.